I decided that by the end of the night, I was going to do whatever I could do to look like John Bon Jovi. Before I do a couple of songs for you here, I want to say one thing. There's a gentleman in the room who played bass in the Elms for about three years, from 2002. I don't know where he is. Um, uh, but I'd like you to do me a favor and uh, put your hands together for the service of Mr. Keith Miller. You know, he, uh, he charted a little bit of a different course for himself in about 2003, and uh, he ended up with a super hot wife, so I guess that worked out. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley. Okay, uh, listen, um, let me just say this. Uh, I, gotta be, I gotta be really honest with you. From the beginning of the show till right now, I don't even know. I think I'm on, on another planet. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> We're all there, there you. Yeah. There you go. But right now, I, I feel like I'm just starting to gather what's going on here tonight, and I, I don't. We love you. You're gonna, you're gonna go through your life, and you're gonna hear bands stand up on stage in front of you, and they're gonna tell you that they love you. And look, I just love you guys so much. I don't know how to cope with things very well when it's the end of something. I'm very task oriented. So, so this is the end of something in my life and I don't know what tomorrow will look like. Yeah, that's true. But I can tell you this, I promise you I won't start a cover band. I can promise you that I won't start a heavy metal band. And I promise you that I won't do anything unless my heart is in it 110%. If I could walk down the road in the last 10 years with you and I could tell you everything and all the sacrifices that the boys in this band and their families have made, I think it would blow your mind to just be a part of something that we could all be proud of. And uh, I can't think of a cooler way to spend my birthday and to spend this moment in time than to be here with you guys. I just love you so much. Thank you for, for being here. Um, Every time we would make a record, four of them now, the big surprise. Truth, Soul, Rock and Roll. The Chess Hotel. And then the Great American Midrange, which is our last one. I mean, 
I mean, I've said album, I, you know, technically it's... Okay. I forgot to add that to the list of things I promise I won't do. Hey, dream believer! Put on my sunshine! I am one of those, I can tell you. Every time we would make a record, though, the boys on the band would be very... Uh, the boys in the band... <laughs> Let me catch my breath. Every time we would make a record, the boys in the band would be very gracious to me and they would let me put like one or two songs on our album that were just sort of, you know, my heart on my sleeve and, you know, we're a rock band and so to convince the boys in your band that it's alright to be vulnerable once in a while, um, I think that's risky of them and uh, so I'd like to just play you a couple of songs now that were some of my favorites off of those uh, records and if you know them, you can sing along, and if you don't know them, then the, the, the Bodines will play you down the street. <laughs> <laughs> 